While the American space agency NASA is slowing down with space exploration, halfway around the world China is only just beginning. China would make world headlines back in 2003 when they launched the first Chinese person into space. This was part of a longer ongoing series of missions called Project 921. Manned spaceflight was the first and primary goal, so it had the project name Project 921-1. Project 921-2 is the secondary goal of building a space station. Several missions have already successfully demonstrated that China is capable of building such a habitat, as demonstrated back in 2011 when Tiangong-1 was launched. Tiangong-1 was ultimately nothing more than a test module, however there has been a successful manned flight to the module on June the 11th this year. A crew of three successfully began a 15 day space mission, which involved docking with the module and returning safely on the 26th of June, making it the longest Chinese manned space flight so far. Looking into the near future, Tiangong-2 is set to launch in 2015 and will be even larger than Tiangong-1. A third and final test module will launch sometime after that, and just recently, China announced their plans for a proper full-scale and permanently manned space station to be made in 2023 in space. While the space station will be smaller than the International Space Station, it should be noted that the ISS was an international effort to have a permanently manned space station that was built in space. China is building this all on its own making this mission a monumental effort. When completed, China hopes to study the effects of space radiation, develop medicine for space use, and potentially for use on Earth. Looking further into the future, China also stated earlier this year to have plans to build a permanently manned lunar base on the Moon by 2020. Steps are already being taken to achieve this goal, with the first lunar rover set to launch by the end of this year. What do you think of the Chinese space program? Leave a comment below.